Hey, good morning. Today we have a MacBook Pro that needs to be upgraded. Especially the storage device inside, the hard drive. This one is MacBook Pro A1502. And this one only had 128 gigabyte of hard drive, which is pretty small. Okay, so here, what we got is the 480 gigabyte SSD designed for the MacBook Pros and Air and all different kinds of MacBooks. Uh, the customer wanted to upgrade it to 480 from 128 and today I'm gonna show you how to do the SSD upgrade on your MacBook Air or Pro. So this one is now Catalina Mac OS version 10.15.7 First, you need to make a recovery disk on your USB stick. To create a bootable installer for Mac OS, the instructions are on the website of Apple. Here they do have detailed instructions on how to create that drive. First, you need to download the matching OS X. And then, you need to use a create install media command in the terminal to create your bootable USB drive. Now I'm downloading the Mac OS Catalina. After downloading is finished, I'm gonna run terminal and I'm gonna run some commands to create my Mac OS Catalina bootable USB. Now meanwhile, I'm gonna get my USB and format this USB drive so we can make this a bootable Mac OS USB. Connect it to your MacBook. Click that magnifying icon and search for disk utility right there and that's my USB select your USB click erase you can name it whatever you want I'm gonna name it Mac OS and then I'm gonna leave the format as a Mac OS extended journal and for the scheme I'm gonna choose the GUID partition map because it's the latest uh, technology and click erase okay just wait and close the window when it's all done when you have your USB ready go back to the Apple website and follow these instructions to create your bootable USB. In my case, mine's a Catalina, right there. I can run the terminal. And in this terminal, I can just copy and paste or type this command, and then your MacBook will create the bootable USB automatically. And when you copy and paste the command, Make sure you just don't hit enter right away. Do you see the volumes? You need to uh, identify your USB volume names right there. Okay, if you look at the mount point, mine is volume Mac OS. I'm gonna type that here. Mac OS, hit enter ready to start to continue type y and then press return okay type y press return now this is copying the mac os catalina recovery files on my usb okay let's make a backup first and then install this and transfer everything over to this one go to system preference Click Time Machine. Here you have to uh, select Backup Disk. The first one is my external hard drive. Choose that. Use Disk. And click this now. Check this. And close the Time Machine. Then, do you see the small clock icon right there click it 
Okay, now it already started to back up my system. Usually what it says here is backup now, but now I see skip this backup, which means I think it's creating backup as soon as I add my hard drive. Yep. As you see, it says preparing backup. How long it would take? It depends on your uh, how many files you have on your system. It depends on your current uh, storage device size and usage. The backup is ready. Everything's transferred to my hard drive. Let's disassemble the MacBook and install the new 480GB SSD. Flip over your MacBook. There are 10 screws to remove. After removing the screws, the bottom cover just pops it up. First of all, you need to remove the battery. On the right side, there is a battery cable connected. Let's disconnect it. Now there is one screw holding the existing SSD. Remove it and remove the SSD as well. Then install the new SSD, put the screw back, reconnect the battery cable, and close the cover. Put the 10 screws back again, and connect your bootable USB, then power up your MacBook. The MacBook Pro will display recovery mode automatically. If you don't see the recovery mode automatically, you can press and hold option key when you power up your MacBook. When you're in recovery mode, Choose the first option to restore your backup from your drive using Time Machine. Don't forget to connect your external drive at this point. Select your external drive with a backup. Now choose the backup point. In my case, I only have one backup. Choose your SSD as destination. Erase everything from the SSD. Now your MacBook will try to copy everything from your backup to your new SSD. It will take some time, maybe half an hour or more. And that's how to upgrade SSD on your MacBook. If you have any questions, leave comments. And you can subscribe to our channel for more videos like this in the future. Thank you. Just to find someone